Hello from a warm summer afternoon. Today I am taking you along while styling a favorite corner of mine in the living room. I like to call our home a work in progress home. We are taking our own sweet time finding right pieces of furniture and things which would make our house a home. Every year we set small goals for our house like buying a particular piece of furniture, upgrading our lights and this is how we are slowly building our small home. Someone asked me in the comments that what is my advice for newlyweds while buying furniture. My only advice is to wait for right piece of furniture like currently I am waiting for my dining chairs and my fingers are crossed if they are good I will definitely share it with you guys. It's been almost one and a half years um, in this house and I feel so happy about the progress we have made so far. This is our study room which we have con currently converted into a playroom for our 5 years old daughter. Now let me tell you a secret, I'm not a fan of this bright pink color on the walls. I wanted to go with a subtle shade of pink or, or maybe a green color but this was uh, the only only thing my daughter wanted on her birthday. She wanted a pink room. Now coming back to our living room story, this is my favorite corner in the living room. Sitting on the couch, you can see all the greens on the sky. It looks amazing in the morning and evenings. And I was looking for a small and compact furniture which could fit in here nicely. And then I randomly spotted this particular table on Amazon one day. And this has arrived today, so I'm going to style it with you guys. Ours is a small apartment, which means um, we like to utilize each and every corner, and uh, most of our furniture is multifunctional, like this particular console table, which can be used um, as a snack station or bar station whenever we are hosting parties. It is uh, good and compact, so it can be used in any corner trying to create a soothing reading environment here and this is why I have added a lamp and next I am going to add artwork. This artwork is from Etsy and I got it printed on a canvas and then got, got it framed locally. Most of the art in my house is um, from Etsy. Um, then I have to obviously add speaker on husband's demand and uh, next I am going to hide the speaker in whatever way I can. So this is how I'm going to hide the speaker for now. I have added a plant in Vika basket and this plant is close to the window so I hope it will survive here. Let's see. Next I'm going to show you how do I hide um, the wires as much as I can because nothing is more unappealing than uh, dangling wires. So I try to hide them as much as I can. So basically we don't have a plug here so I'm plugging uh, the lamp and speaker wire in an extension cord which is attached from a plug, nearby plug and next I'm going to use a cable manager. Cable managers are a savior whenever you don't have a plug or you have to use an extension cord. You can just place your extension cord inside uh, the cable manager and then ne neatly tuck in all the extra wire inside and then put on the lid. Now ideally I would have liked if this cable manager could fit under our sofa but our sofa has a low height so it wouldn't fit. So this is why I am trying to um, push it backwards towards the dining area and then our sofa will come in here so it will look much more cleaner and uh, visually much more aesthetic. The styling technique which I have used in this corner is called layering and it is a perfect option whenever you are living in rentals or you don't want to put in any nails on the walls. This is a very classic and a very elegant style. Learning how to add decor that works together is decorating gold and I love layering a lot. It adds so much character and warmth to your living space. I also love using throws on the couch year around like in summers I like using um, obviously cotton and linen blender throws and in winters of course as much woolen as I can 
and uh, I have used white here because it looks nice in this corner perfect for summers and then I'm using some cushions in complementing colors and uh, I need to upgrade my cushion fillers I know now layering is all about using different textures so this is why I am adding some greens in this wicker planter which will add some more warmth to the space and green will give that soothing effect to this corner. I also want to add some books on that um, table and this is why I am going to um, take you along while browsing through some of my favorite coffee table books. I have recently started collecting coffee table books and I do not have a huge collection but these are some of my favorite finds as of now. Some of the books are from my food blogging days and uh, of course Samira has done some scribbling. She has spoiled quite a lot of books but I would say these are memories. Now if you are thinking coffee table books are just for you, they are not. They are meant to entertain your guests while you are away arranging some food or snacks for them. They can browse through the books and uh, keep themselves entertained. And the books also speak a lot about your interest and whenever you are having someone new, they can just browse through your collection of books and know a little bit about you cooking baking home decor lifestyle is i think some of my favorite genre of books and i like to keep a good mix of these books on my coffee table and i think a lot of people will relate to all these topics these are common interest and this is why i like to keep them on my coffee table i think i'm happy with this corner as of now but i'm sure i will make some more changes in future i would like to add a blue ceramic planter here i love blue pottery as i have expressed it so many times so we are done setting up uh, the living room corner and i'm so happy that i'm finally done with it it is almost five o'clock which means snack time and today i'm going to make my favorite summer snack i love using some roasted makhanas in makhana chat so basically i'm just heating up some uh, ghee clarified butter and adding makhanas and roasting them till they are crispy Once they are done, I'm going to let them cool for a while and we are going to chop some vegetables. I'm going to use um, some chopped cucumbers in this makhana chart. You can use whatever vegetables are available with you or whatever uh, vegetables are your favorite. Like I'm going to use uh, usual vegetables in the chart like some tomatoes and some onion, chilies, uh, grated carrot. Now hero of this particular chart is raw mangoes. Uh, small chunks of raw mango is going to give you a kick whenever you are having this chart and it is good for the stomach as well uh, especially during these hot summers. Now I love making different variations of this makhana chart. Sometimes I like to add some boiled corns and sometimes red and yellow peppers. So sky is the limit. You can make any uh, version of it with your favorite veggies. You can also add some spring onions, whatever is available in your fridge. You are good to go and you will have a healthy guilt free snack. It was during my pregnancy days when I discovered all about makhana like how good is makhana for our health and now we use makhana in so many ways in, in our raitas, in, in snacking, in making desserts so I think makhana is such a versatile option and if you have any particular recipe which is your favorite then do let me know in the comments so we are done chopping all the veggies and basically we are going to mix everything all the veggies with the makhana and after that i'm going to add some spices like some salt um, black pepper coriander powder and uh, some chaat masala 
Now again, you can have different versions of spices, whatever you like, you can add in here. You can also add some red chili flakes here if you like a spicier version of this. Um, I'm going to share this with my daughter, so I have skipped using too much spices in here. But it is always uh, an open option. You can make it more spicier or less spicier. It is up to you. In the end, I'm going to top it with some roasted peanuts and sprinkle some coriander. Now suddenly I could see some movement of clouds in the sky and I'm so excited that I'm going to have my snack in the balcony. It is getting darker slowly and slowly. Time to switch on the lights and pull down all the curtains and go into the relaxing zone. I hope you enjoyed setting up my favorite corner in the living room today with me and I will see you soon. Till then take care, have fun and enjoy every day.